Yes, boss. 444 the world back in here again once again, dog. Happy to see you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? You see the topic and what it is that we're talking about, right? People don't know the use of something good until it's gone. That's the world that we live in nowadays, right? So here's the deal. As I state all the time in all of my videos, times are changing, people are changing, their behaviors are changing, social media is here, everything is supposedly lit right now. You get what I'm saying? For anybody who doesn't really understand, in a nutshell, the games that's being played are the deep agenda. The deep agenda is to help keep men well men in a state of being a boy and taking away their rights freedom as well as that empowering women over men right everything that is the out like what the what the bible looks at as blasphemy or you get what i'm saying mockery the people that's running the game is making it look like no nah, that's the way it should be right basically switching up the game backwards so in this life we have a lot of people who feel entitled a lot of people who feel like yo I'm better than the next person or I'm better than you they feel like they're more than the next person I got a bunch of females who want me I got a bunch of dudes who want me I always stay fresh you get what I'm saying I'm flyer than you I got more money than you like it's people with this this driven ego dog that's not even real bro you get what I'm saying because there's a lot of people who feel like yo I'm I'm the one you need to know about. I'm the big dog. I'm the, I'm the top person. I'm I'm authentic. All day authentic, right? And then you get to find out, yo, you're nothing but a piece of shit. You get what I'm saying? You got to understand this. The devil has literally has a lot of people out here tricked in their mind, right? A lot of people operating from a false uh from a false place, which is a ego or alter ego or some form of false belief that makes them feel like they're more than the next person and i'm here to tell you this dog whether you're dead broke or rich you're equal to the next person dog you can be poor today and rich tomorrow rich today poor tomorrow it doesn't mean that because you have money or some form of social status that you're more than the next person it doesn't mean that, yo, because you're a female with good looks or you got ass or whatever the case may be, that you're more than the next person. When you continuously operate and move out of place of ego, feeling like you're better than the next person, and you want to step on everybody's, everybody's toes, I'm more than you, I'm bigger than you, you do what I tell you to do. Because you feel like you're that person, that same drug which is called pride and ego that you was getting so high on is going to bring you to a place where you do not want to be dog when you come off of your off of your pride that high horse that you were on and you see what really was going on you start to understand damn boy i did some free dog i should have never did that yeah but here's the deal a lot of people are stuck in their ways pride is what drives them pride and ego they don't want to let it go Here's the thing, pride and ego is not real, and I'm gonna say that shit again, it's not real, bruh. Pride and ego is from the devil, dog. There are certain things out here like social media that make somebody feel like they're more than the next person. Oh, I make $80,000 a year and you make 40, ha, huh? I'm more than you. Oh, I'm above you, who are you to me? I'm superior to you, I'm your God. Like, there's some people who really move like that. And cold day in hell when they find out that 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 reality that they were living in was false you feel me it's like the metaverse when you don't know how to treat people and you feel like you're more you're going to lose out on everybody right I'll give you some examples dog when i talk about the things i went through in my life i have a lot of people in my life that i was around who are narcissists and they lived off of pride and ego my mother my sisters uh some people who i thought were my friends the girls that i chose who thought like me you get what i'm saying and i started to realize and understand certain shit, bro some people they feel like the grass is going to be greener on the other side of t on the on the other side of the fence or if this good shit is happening now it should be way better after i get rid of this person wrong that was your blessing that's what you were waiting for 
you gotta understand this people don't know the use of something until it's gone and that's when reality finally sets in yo dog this girl used to always show me love dog this dude always showed me love they never wanted nothing from me they always you feel me when you don't know what love is because some people still don't know what love is right and then you have some people who know what it is but they're like i don't care i deserve it i need this 24 7. if you can't give it you can't give it to me you're gone right you got to understand dog when people end up with their own thoughts to realize what it is that they've done that's when another form of sickness comes in when you drive people away from you because you feel like you're more than the next person you're signing up for failure misery all of that stuff bro you're gonna drive people away from you you get what i'm saying me on the other hand i'm not a person who i drive people away from me but it's like if if i know you're using me or it's nothing in return it's not equal give and take or you feel like you're more than me and i don't treat you like that and i have good intentions from you i'll probably do some shit to probably piss you off to get you to just say oh that person you know what i'm saying just to make me feel a little bit better dog or i could just go ghost i could give it to you any kind of way dog any kind of way bro because i understand and see this dog when people have that entitlement or they feel like I need this or this should be given to me without appreciating the efforts that you do, guess what? Cut them people off, bro. Because when people have a mindset like that, they're very ungrateful. Give you another example, right? First, the first time, um, the first girlfriend I had, right? Well, we lived together and that's a wrong mistake. Should have never did that, right? This girl was homeless. I put out by her sister all of that right and I started to see something yo dog if this girl would have never had me around she would have been sleeping in her car right I went to my job the temp job I was working putting in double time dog talking about every day I'm putting in at least like 10 hours bare minimum dog. within a month racked up on the money that I needed to go ahead and move right now that I got my money and everything situated, bro, paid for the apartment, dog. Before this girl's birthday, right? I was like, you know, I could do it in October because that's her birthday time, but I don't want her sleeping in her car no more, right? Dog, got the apartment. This girl excited, everything, and then as soon as things change, it's like, yo, back to just, just right to being ungrateful. And you get what I'm saying? Dog. You was just living in your car. You feel me? Name the person or the man who's going to pick up and make sure you got a you got a roof over your head and food food in your stomach, dog. So you ain't got to worry about it relying on nobody, right? Guess what this girl did? Turn around and disrespect me, dog. And I really had to sit there and think about it like, dog, that's some messed up stuff, bro. How can you do that to certain people who treat you good, bro? Here's the thing. Some people don't know what good treatment is. They don't even want that. You feel me? So I don't charge nobody to that. That's just a learning lesson for me. But one thing I could say as from experience and knowing the way of the world, I know for a fact that girl missed me, dog. Because if somebody can do certain things like that for you and we're in Florida with a lot of niggas who do not care about you, bro, you're going to remember me for that, dog. And guess what? People wouldn't even know how to come back around and say certain things because they know that they did certain shit just with a hidden agenda or just to get you out of the picture. You get what I'm saying? You got to understand this, bro. When people do things to harm you and they leave you behind, they not only know what it is that they do sometimes, but here's the thing. You can't really sit there and soak on the situation like, oh, they're going to miss me. You're going to remember me. You're going to remember me. If I was in that type of state, I would have never made it to where I am right now. And I wouldn't even be continuing going down this route. You feel me? At the end of the day, I look at it like, ah, oh, it is what it is, bro. One bus, one bus leave, guess what? Next one coming, bro. You feel me? From me having little mindsets like that, it helped me get out of a state of, yo, does this person miss me as a, a, a me being an empath, dog? Uh, because that's something that'll play a trick on your mind as an empath. Yo, does this person miss me? Or did this person really this, that, and the third? The, the, the answer is this, bro. Sometimes people are not sorry for the things that they've done. That's where karma comes into play. Karma is that 
tool, that weapon, that mofo that's like, all right, look, you caused the instability or imbalance, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna give it back to you in your way. And you're gonna know where it is that it came from and why it came to you, right? That's when people start to jog in reality and realize, dog, this person ain't like this person or this person ain't like this person, you feel me? That's when people mind start to run them. Cow doesn't know the use of his own tail until he lose it. That's a famous Jamaican saying, dog. When people leave you in one set place and feel like you're going to be there forever, that's where God is so amazing, bro. Once you pick up and remove yourself from the situation, they start to think, oh, yo, you left me. Who the hell do you think you are? Blase, squaze, right? Then time comes and sets in like, dog, they're going to be back. They're going to be back. And then they realize, yo, they're not coming back. you damn right they're not coming back. Who in the hell wants to be dealt with or treated like they're nothing or a footstool when they know they have way more, ro way more value or royalty or whatever the case may be, and they're literally spending that time with you? That's when a person gets sick, when the little illusion they were, illusion they were living in, it gets faded out. Oh, that person really did like me. Yeah, they liked you. A person like, example, take it vice versa, man or woman, right? A person takes time to reach out to you, show you care, whatever the case may be, that person is interested in you. The person who doesn't care about you, doesn't respond, guess what? Oh, I think they're interested in me. It's the opposite way around. You get what I'm saying? You got to understand this, bro. In life, people don't know what they have until they lose it. And when they lose it, that's when their mind starts to go on a jog. You feel me? Think about it, bro. In the life that we live in now, do you see more good people entering into the world or more evil people? I'll wait for that answer. You know what the answer is. So that means if you being a good person or a person who does things from a space of good intention or a good place or a good heart, people feel that, bro. People know what that is. That's real. You feel me? But guess what? In a fake world, Real don't get looked at as, yo, you're real. You get looked at as, ah, you're fake. You get what I'm saying? It's an opposite. Just like good is evil to some people and evil is good. You got to understand that the world, it's a, it's an opposite day. You feel me? It's opposite. So at the very end of the day, you got to understand this. When people choose not to acknowledge you for your true value, it's okay. God knows who you are and your value. He'll remove you and bring you somewhere else where you're way more appreciated, bro. I.E., give you another example. Me and my mother. My mother knows right now that of all of her children, I was the most, I was the most caring and loving child for her. If my mom is broke or my mom don't got it, she can't pick up and call her other kids, bro. My mom could call me all day long, bro. Every month, I got an extra, uh, extra piece of money, a 100 or a 150, because I know she hard on her. I'll go toss it to my mom, bro. Put that in your tank for gas, bro. Use this and buy you a lunch, bro. Something, bro. Little things, bro. This is when, even when I ain't had no money, bro. You know how much that burned me to my heart? When I gave my mom over five bands for me trading, dog. I bust my ass for that, and my mom looked at me and told me, yo, you ain't never did shit for me. You get what I'm saying? That's why I tell you as an empath, cut them people the fuck off, bro. Starve them people and make them feel like how they make you feel, bro. My mom is crying out right now. My mom knows it and I think she feels it a little bit more now, bro. My birthday is in a couple more weeks, dog. Her birthday is one month. One month after mine. Am I calling my mom? No. Is my mom going to expect to call me and this, that? You're not going to get nothing but a friggin' dial tone, dog. You're blocked. You feel me? When you choose to treat people like they're nothing and put them to the side or put them on the shelf, you feel like they're always going to be around. Guess what? The game gets switched. People don't know the use of something until it's gone, bruh. Stop uplifting shitty, poor, crappy, like just the dog, about dog shit people. Stop putting them people on a pedestal, bruh. That's the reason why the world is what it is right now. You feel me? People uplift and glorify evil and put down people of good like, who are you? Stay down there. But at the same time, they want to try and use you for shit. You feel me? Let's go deeper into this, bro. I had some friends in my life. Everybody know D'Angelo is a good friend, dog. D'Angelo a good friend, bro. 
I'm gonna be there for you, bruh. But guess what? You gotta understand that everybody's gonna treat you the way how you treat them. You feel me? They just look at you like, oh yeah, I just have a good friend. Remove yourself from the situation and see how sick them people get, bruh. I have people right now that we used to be so close. All they can do now is just watch my social media because they know they're a fuck nigga for what they did. Let me plot on D'Angelo. Let me backdoor D'Angelo for this female. Let me do this, you feel me? Let me, let me, let me, let me sell stories about D'Angelo. Let me start rumors and make up rumors because I don't like this nigga. He better than me. Bro, remove yourself from people and they'll start to see. Dog, what I did was some whole ass shit, bruh. And there's no undoing it. People don't know the use of something until it's gone, bruh. If you decide to stay in a situation where you know on the inside you feel like this isn't right, you robbing yourself, follow your gut feeling, your intuition, get up and leave, bro. Get up and leave. Especially for people who gossip a lot, you feel me? If you're around people who gossip a lot, as soon as you get up and you, you cut and exit the room, they're going to start talking about you next. That's just how they are. You feel me? There's a lot of people I had in my life that did not mean me no well. And that's why I said I thank God all day long because I was so blind I couldn't see, bro. My mom had plans to off me, get rid of me, and split that up with everybody, dog. My sisters had plans to, 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 to chime in and do all of that shit. I was getting bullied every corner and every crevice of my fucking household. Leave out the door, go outside, I'm right back in the same rut. I used to literally cry and pray to God that, dog, if this shit don't end, I'll end it. You feel me? You got to understand, some people don't give a fuck about you, bro. I care about you because I know what it feels like. And that's another thing. An empath will understand another empath. A narcissist will never fucking understand you because they're the ones who put the empaths down. You get what I'm saying? That's why I speak from a place of passion, bro. There's been so much people I know that went through certain shit. Or I try to give them information. It's like, dog, it's your choice if you're going to take it. But if you're going to sit down and stay there, you cannot continue lingering around me. Because I'm not going to be the, oh, yeah, I listen to this and this, that. Nah, bro, I've been through that. I know the answers, bro. I walked and bent the block a thousand times, bro. I know what it's like. I know when a nigga jealous of me. I know when a nigga got envy in his heart for me. You get what I'm saying? And I thank God more now that I can see it clear as day. And it just took me so long, over 20 something years because it was going on in my house. Everybody I encountered low key had some form of animosity or hatred that I thought was my friend. And it never should have to be that way. Remove yourself from people and they'll find out how valuable you were. That's when people, the illusions and the smoke and mirrors that they had going on, it starts to fucking fade away and fall off. Yo, that person was solid, dog. Yo, when everything went down, yo, this person was in my corner. You feel me? Damn, bro. How can I get him back? That's the perfect game of chess, bro. A narcissist will try and isolate you to get you away from everybody so they can have you to themselves. When you've been playing a game the right way and you've been dealing your hands the right way and you pick up and you move away, you turn around and you isolate them now because they put their mouth on you and told stories about you to get you fucked up and get you isolated. Now, everything starts to come back out and the game gets reversed now. They get put in this situation where they want to commit suicide. It's not a fun game. I know about shit like this because my mom is going through that shit right now. I feel a lot of shit, bro. You get what I'm saying? When you play a dumb, stupid fucking game and you feel like, yo, this person is meant to stay here. Understand this, dog. And this is why this video is going to be long as shit, dog. God didn't put not one motherfucking soul on this earth to be a slave to the next person. I'm going to say that shit a fucking gang. God didn't put you here to be a slave to somebody. You get what I'm saying? People turn around and take the name of God and use it to trick people. Like a lot of these little bitch ass pastors out here that be lying to the congregation. Woe be unto the shepherd that lead the flock astray, bro. There's a special section in hell for evil, wicked, piss poor, dirty fucking people who do shit like this, bro. 
because it's uncalled for. People took a game, ran it on a person. Oh, that's the game? Let me run it on the next person. I'm the person that's going to stop that shit on my side. I don't know about the next person. I don't know about you. But from what I went through, I'm maxing out everybody. My mother, my brothers, my sisters, all of that. I'm really going. I'm up in the fucking score with this shit. Because it's stupid and it's fucking dirty, bro. People continuously will do things because it's cool or it's cute, dog. Remember this, bro. If you're a person that's doing something evil or wicked to a person and they do not deserve it, I'm here to tell you, you need to stop. Because when it comes back on you, I hope you can take it, bro. You get what I'm saying? People don't know the use of something until it's gone, bro. And the same people that find out, yo, this is gone or this person gone or is not coming back, they get entered in a state where they get trapped in their mind because their mind goes on a jog. Remember I said this in a previous video. If you countlessly do numerous of bullshit all day long, day in, day out, ain't no stopping, ain't nothing stopping this flavor, more bullshit, more bullshit, more voodoo, more spell work, put it on them, more, 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 more. Guess what? All of what you did built the fuck up out of your tab and you're gonna have to go through that times 10. That's why a lot of people aren't able to withstand what they put the next person through because they know it was bullshit. You get what I'm saying? Remember this, dog. Once you get up and you remove yourself from a situation or a person decides to walk out or you walk away from a person, guess what? They'll miss you when you're gone, bro. They just wouldn't even know how to accept it, how to express it because they know deep down inside everything that they did was the utmost fuckery straight bullshit everything that they did my mother has i let it go and i'm happy and i'm free but it's like dog i know that this lady is continuously working voodoo bro and i see it happen all the time it's not harming me but it's like you would think a person would stop dog you would think a person would stop you feel me and i know what voodoo is like i've been learning about the shit you feel me that's why i look at certain things like yo I don't really have pity or remorse for people. It's either you want to take the information and run with it, or you just want somebody to throw you a pity party. That's another video coming. We don't throw pity parties over here. I express myself and let you know what it is, but at the end of the day, when a person does dirty things to you, you walk away, they walk away, guess what? There's a certain feeling that comes over them that's telling them they're making a big mistake, bro. And that's for you, the guys who are the empath, the women who are the empath, the people who have a good heart, that care, bro, that work hard, bro. Remember this, dog. You're extremely valuable in this world full of narcs, snakes, evil, wicked, dirty ass people, bro. Just maintain your heart, dog, and just remember this, bro. When people mistreat you, they'll know what they had because then you leave and then it's gone. It's just like Donald Trump, bro. Everybody was bashing the hell out of this man. Now everybody crying for Trump to come back in the office. You feel me? That's how shit work. You feel me? People don't see the shit that you're doing in their face. They don't even try to learn or study or understand you. They're just ready to throw the rock at you. Right? Look at what happened. Trump gone. Oh my God, I miss Trump. I miss Donald. Donald would have never did this to us with high gases. Because people don't try to read between the lines. They don't try to pay attention and open their eyes to the details of what's going on. Some people just live life as it is and they don't try to pay attention, bro. That's why they make dumb decisions. Society is raising a lot of people to not be critical thinkers, bro. That's what I'm here for and that's what I really feel like part of my thing is, bro. Just to help help you open up and expand to seeing things from a different side, all right? That being said, it's your boy 440 for the world. Words can help you. They can hurt you. Here on my channel, I use them to uplift you because everybody is a champion. You get what I'm saying? That being said, love you guys. Peace.